My name's Alone and welcome to the first episode in the Dead Man Mode series and uh, I just wanted to record the intro here in the normal game before the release. It is now 20 minutes until the servers are open and I don't want to have to do an intro when that starts because everyone will have a 30 minute immune to PKing time and I want to spend that as efficiently as possible but I hope you guys will enjoy this series as much as I will probably enjoy making it. And uh, by the way, I do have a Discord if you want to join that, link in the top of the description, as well as a friend chat if you want to join that. But let's get into the video. So in the beginning, everyone has 30 minutes of immunity timer, and you can actually go to talk to one of these uh, two stars to get a starting pack. And if you talk to them, you get this one, and I will go with the ranged one. You can only pick one, and it gives you... Well, okay, I need a lot of more inventory space to be able to use that, so I'm going to drop some of these items. Uh, I probably don't need uh, maybe the shrimps because you do get some food with this. Let's see if I can open it now. So there you go. Oh, you actually get all of them. So you get one combat potion, you get a lot of... Uh, I think you're supposed to get arrows, but I'm not sure if I got those, but whatever. I do have uh, quite a lot of food now, and I have a staff that is supposed to have 500 attacks, I think. Yeah, 500 casts. And uh, starter sword that is supposed to be equal to a mithril scimitar. And uh, my bow, I think, is supposed to have arrows in it. Yeah, 2000 bronze arrows. Also, for those of you who don't know, you actually start with a lot of quests already out to complete that. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I will have a list of all of them in the description of this video. And Dragon Slayer, of course, being one of the bigger ones. And also... Monkey Madness, so you can actually buy a Dragon Scimitar as, as soon as you get the money. Also Hero's Quest. Yeah, there's some really big ones. There you go, Monkey Madness. But first thing I'm going to do is get the 10k from the Stronghold of Security. Maybe actually I can't get all of the 10k because uh, I might die in the dungeon there. Let's collect that first 1k. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go for the 10,000. I don't think I need it. Oh, it's 2k on the first one. I even forgot that. That's even better. So if I climb down here and get the next one, I should get 3,000 GP. So that is 5k and I don't think I actually need more than that. Oh my god, I just did an airstrike on one of these rats. I got 4 magic. Look in the chat. I'm going to do another one. 165 experience without even doing damage. Yeah, magic is pretty good. Getting the 3k now, and we will have 5k. Perfect, so now it's time to go back to Lumbridge and uh, train some combat. Oh, I don't even have to use these spells for this staff. It just auto-casts Fire Strike, even though I'm level 1. That is so good. Uh, I'm, by the way, 22 magic. Yeah, 700 experience drops, by the way. Uh, I'm actually collecting cow hides right now because I'm going to use them for uh, crafting. I need to get 18 crafting to be able to make a silver sickle for the nature spirit quest, which I will need to be able to do fairy tales part 1 to unlock fairy rings. And then I can go into the enchanted realm and kill tree spirits for both a rune axe and a lot of nature runes. And nature runes on the dead man mode is so valuable in the beginning because so many people can get alking and get the money that way. So it is a very efficient way of getting money in the beginning. Pretty decent batch of cowhides here. Let's tan them all into soft leather and go buy some thread and needle. And let's see how much crafting experience this is. Let's have a look at this now. 276 experience drops. <laughs> 8 crafting after 3 cowhides. Uh, by the way, I don't want to do nature spirit right off the bat because I don't think it's the best thing to do. I think the best thing to do now in the beginning is actually train up combat. I'm going to keep one of these gloves to actually wear. Uh, but I think training up combat with Slayer is actually a really good method of uh, starting off Deadman mode because if you have no combat level, you're going to get run over instantly. So I'm going to definitely start off with that. Uh, but I do actually want to get 18 crafting relatively quickly anyways to have it uh, out of the way so I can actually do that whenever I want. Ooh, leather boots. That's actually upgrade. Okay, so there we go. That is uh, even 19 crafting. I do actually think the leather body is actually not that bad to have either because, well, it gives me magic protection in case I would get attacked by someone uh, using magic. So that's pretty decent. Uh, but now I'm just going to train combat for the remaining 9 minutes. And I actually do after that one, I'll probably get some agility because uh, training agility is very good in this game mode in the beginning because you do get access to cut, uh, shortcuts that you can use to escape PKers. Sorry, by the way, if uh, some things are very messy. There's just a lot of things that I want to do in the beginning. Literally pickpocketed this guy until uh, I got caught. Got 8 thieving. Easy. Dude, what? 
Look at his arm. What is this cursed gameplay? He has... What? His arm just disappears when he hits me. Okay, things are now a bit scarier. I do not have PvP protection anymore. And I do think that these weapons, the starter weapons, can actually not be used to PK people. At least that's what I've heard and it does make sense. I mean, why would you be able to use these weapons when they are really OP at this uh, stage of the game, to be honest? Oh, I actually had no idea you could buy a Dorgishan crossbow from low. I mean, maybe you're not supposed to be able to, but definitely going to do that. And uh, <laughs> these bone bolt packs are probably very hard to come by. Maybe if I just spam like this, I can actually buy one. Uh, but yeah, I can buy some like this. They're probably very cheap. 18 co Okay, 18 coins is actually kind of expensive. Gonna be honest with you, uh, but maybe I can actually time it and buy one of these. Yeah, th th this is going to be very hard. Maybe I will have to get back here later, but um, yeah, I will uh, keep this now in my bank. The two things I'm going to do right now is first I'm going to just steal some cakes. That is why I got those few thieving levels there in Al Karid, and I will probably get like maybe 50 cakes or something like that. And then I will just uh, run up north all the way here and do some agility training. Excellent, now I have over 10 agility, so I can go to Draenor Village and keep training agility there for a bit. And also if you look here, this guy is like the Ava Accumulator. You have the Animal Magnetism quest completed, so I'm going to go and get that as well now that I'm at Draenor. Sweet, I have the Ava's Attractor now. It cost me 999 GP, so pretty much 1k. Uh, by the way, that is not the way you go out. But I also got 21 agility. So now it's off to Alcarid to uh, keep my agility grind up. 31 agility even on the agility course in Alcarid. So now it's off to Varrock. And I'm not sure if it's actually worth... Let's see. Um, the Canopy's rooftop course. It might be worth going there. But I'm not sure at 40. Or if it's worth staying at Varrock just because it's more safe. Running to Canopy's might be very dangerous. But we will have to see if I take that risk or not. Yeah, I'm a bit too impatient. I'm definitely going to go to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit impatient. I'm 40 agility now and I am definitely going to go to Cannabis to train agility. Though I do think that the best way of doing it is actually teleporting to the Shades of Morton minigame if I can do that. What? You can't do that on this world? Oh, that's unlucky. I'll have to run there normally, I guess. Hopefully I don't die. I met no one on my way here, so uh, I guess it is not very populated here. Okay, there is a person here. It's actually a PvP zone. I wonder if it's a PvP zone upstairs as well. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see, but I'm going to assume it is. Yeah, it is. So, the other guy is 47. That guy might actually be quite scary, but uh, yeah, hopefully in the next clip I'm not dying. Not attacked even once, but this was actually a pretty big time investment to get 51 agility and the reason why I'm quitting at 51 is because that is the level you need to be able to use the Edgeville shortcut just beside uh, Vanaka. So if I go down all the way here, I think it's here, pipe from Edgeville dungeon to Varrock sewers and that is going to be a very good escape as my next goal is going to be doing Slayer with Vanaka, but I do need 40 combat for that and I'm 34 right now. So it should be very quickly to get that before I can get a task. I'm pretty sure the museum just gives normal experience. Yeah, 1000 Slayer and 1000 Hunter. But I guess it's better than nothing. At least it's pretty good for Hunter because the first Hunter levels are a pain. Perfect, I can actually buy these uh, packs now. I'm going to go with probably 500, that should be enough. And uh, I need to get my ranged up a bit first as well. But uh, it's going to be a very good weapon to use. I think it requires 20. 28, okay, it's not too bad. Okay, that is a drop. Two Rainers, what? Okay, that would have been a crazy drop even on the normal game. 20k from one outlaw, you okay? Of course, I didn't even think about it. You can get a wilderness tasks at level one. Uh, yeah, I do know they have to be in the wilderness, but come on, everything here is PK anyway. So yeah, I do understand that. Hopefully it's nothing too insane. 92 zombies. Not really sure where I can kill zombies, but I guess here? Okay, there we go. 28 ranged, and now I can use the Dorgish on crossbow. Of course, on rapid. I don't want to use it on accurate. That's scary. Uh, that's a lot of keys. I don't think he's going to attack me, though, because I think he has max keys. So I don't think it even matters for him. Maybe, 
Maybe it does. I'm probably going to distance myself a bit from him, but I have actually been saving uh, up the run energy all the time in case I would get attacked. So, yeah, you never know. But it's not multi here, so I'm not really super scared. Wait, what? Archaic emblem from one of these? Uh, can I actually just trade that into the Bounter Hunter shop for, like, really good stuff? Uh, I, that is really cool. It's 68k. No way, another one. Uh, okay, well, I really do hope you can actually use these at the store. I will try that after I finish this 42. By the way, I'm uh, doing some ranged with defense training because uh, I don't need much higher than 46 to destroy these anyways. And I do need 40 for rune and all the good stuff. That is the Slayer assignment done and actually the last kill gave me two Raynars. These uh, guys are attacking each other, but uh, hopefully I can run away with my 100 run energy and be safe. So let's see how these work now. Okay, so let's see. I guess I want to... Rewards, maybe? And then use... Maybe they're actually just useless. Maybe I can't even do anything with these. It wouldn't surprise me. I will try to use it on the Emblem Trader. Oh, sell you all your archaic emblems. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay. 200,000 points! Wait, how much are these? 90,000? Wait, I can actually buy... Oh, that was so close! I could almost buy one of those. Um, Not really sure what I want to use these points for then. Uh, they're all pretty expensive. I don't need to buy the rune items because I can buy those for normal GP. Maybe the climbing boots? They're 5.4k. That's probably a good thing to buy with the points. But before that, is there anything else that I can buy? The Dragon Dagger is probably a very good purchase. Maybe the Nate is not Helm as well, but I'm not sure if I have the quest for it. I probably... I don't think I do, so I'm not going to unlock that one. I think buying the Dragon Dagger, as well as the Climbing Boots, having 104k points left... How much is the uh, Rune Pouch? 1.2 million points. Yeah, I can't buy that. Um, so I think for now that's going to be good. The boots are actually a pretty good upgrade from the leather boots. And uh, I can use the dragon dagger at 60 attack because Lost City is already opened. I do want to get my prayer up a bit to have protection prayers. And <laughs> Jesus skeleton, can you get off me? Uh, so I'm going to get a task from Vanaka here. And if I can get hill giants that would be perfect. Vampires, that is terrible task. So... Uh, I'm still just going to go to hill giants, I think, and kill them for a bit and bury their bones from some prayer experience. Just way too crowded this place. Uh, I'm going to abandon it. I, I mean, I killed a few of them and I got 18 prayer, but I do think actually just getting higher levels and then killing dragons with an anti-dragon shield is probably better. Kind of curious uh, how much these nature runes will sell for, if they will sell even at all. So let's put them in for normal value. Yeah, they're not selling at all. Uh, how about the law runes? Maybe they will sell for the normal normal value. I guess uh, until people get... Oh, it actually sold for 300 GP. That's really good. And the Limpert Roots, probably not going to sell for 1k. I'll put it in there, but... Um, yeah, I guess now in the beginning, people don't really have any money to spend. So it makes sense that people are not buying anything yet. But it's still pretty good to have, uh, I guess, all the nature runes up here. Because I do need money later on. I guess I'm running back to Canifis to kill those 14 vampires and then I will probably continue on doing Wilderness Slayer again after that assignment to try to get more of those emblems. If I do get, uh, I think I need two more now because I do have already 100,000 points, I can buy a Dragon Scimitar because buying it from the Apatol for like 130k seems a bit absurd when I can get it that way. So I'm probably going to start training some attack and strength as well. And my account is looking decent for just a couple of hours of progress. Actually, three hours in now, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that did not take long, by the way. This task is terrible. Like, there's nothing else to say. This vampire task is absolutely terrible. I can safe spot them like this, but killing one takes literally ten years. But the reason why I'm recording? Medium clue scroll. Might do that later, we will see. Final one dead, let's get a new assignment, and this time uh, one in the wilderness. Crystelia. Please give me something very juicy. Black dragons? How am I supposed to kill black dragons? Is this a joke? Uh, <laughs> black dragons in the wilderness? Uh, yeah, that's like KBD. Or maybe all the way down here. Uh, I think there's a dungeon where you can kill normal black dragons. But that's very deep in the wilderness. Yeah, okay. I went here to buy a dragon fire shield, because I will need that for sure. How much is this one? Oh, it's 10k and the one... Okay, 84k. So, 
Uh, at least a uh, anti-dragon shield, I will need that for the uh, black dragons that I'm apparently going to kill, interesting. I am actually going to end the video right here, and as you can see I bought some salmons from the GE, they were actually very cheap. And I am going to use this setup right here that you're seeing in front of you for black dragons inside of the lava maze in the next video. So that will be very interesting to see how that goes, hopefully I can get uh, a decent chance as they're very high combat level of those totems. As I said, if I get two of them, I can buy a Dragon Scimitar. So that will be for the next one. So, hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see the future Deadman Mode videos or any of my other content, make sure to subscribe. And uh, you can also click any video on the screen right now if you want to see what type of other content I do on this channel. And have a good one, guys. Take care.